Let's talk about cabbage. Cabbage is part of the cruciferous family. That includes broccoli and kale. Yes, that broccoli. And yes, that kale. It's actually one of the healthiest vegetable families. Broccoli has been shown to fight cancer, and many of the vegetables within the family share similar phytonutrient properties. So we should definitely be eating more of these. Cabbage has some stuff going for it though. Um, I find that's one of the cheapest vegetables around. It's very hardy. It's a cold winter vegetable too. So during the cold winter months when it's harder to get more uh, maybe leafy greens or just re uh, fresh vegetables in general, cabbage is a great option. Plus since it's a cold winter vegetable, it keeps well in the fridge. I find that it's virtually flavorless or it lends very little flavor. So it goes great on many dishes. Uh, it could go as a garnish on some Mexi style dishes. Um, it goes well in Asian style dishes. And purple cabbage actually has more phytonutrients than its paler brethren. Uh, I think pound for pound, purple cabbage is probably one of the healthiest vegetables you can buy on the planet. Let's talk about the many health benefits of cabbage. Cabbage actually contains sulforaphane, which is one of the phytonutrients in the cruciferous family. Broccoli has been well known to have it, but it's also in cabbage. Studies have shown that people who eat more cruciferous vegetables, like broccoli or cabbage, they actually have a buildup of sulforaphane in the synovial fluid of their joints. It's been proven. So there is a study that shows that people who do eat it, you can find this compound within the synovial fluid, which goes to show that it's, it's going there for a reason. It's doing something. Um, this, along with some epigenetic changes of gene expression for those who do eat it, um, this article does have intriguing evidence, but it's not wholly conclusive that eating cruciferous vegetables makes your joints better. I'd argue that we're on the right trail though. We know that weightlifting, bodybuilding, and intense exercise is actually hell on the joints, but by eating things like cabbage, you can actually improve the overall quality of the joints. You see that exercise is the stimulus you need to increase strength and flexibility. Meanwhile, diet is there to maximize recovery and reduce inflammation. Sulforaphane is produced when the enzyme myrosinase comes in contact with glucoraphanin. Glucoraphanin and myrosinase are separated within the cellular walls of cruciferous vegetables. These two compounds are actually, they come together as a natural defense whenever predators begin to eat the plant. So whenever you start to chew up cabbage and then you mix the enzyme myrosinase with glucoraphanin, you're creating sulforaphane. Now, if you go ahead and cut your cabbage ahead of time and you let it sit, these compounds will come in contact with each other. But what you can also do is you can actually amplify this reaction. You see the enzyme myrosinase is within all of the cruciferous family, but it's actually found concentrated in mustard powder. So if you really wanted to amp up the joint protecting power of your red cabbage, you could chop it up ahead of time, sprinkle some of this mustard powder on there, mix it around, and let it sit for just a few minutes. After that, just put it on your bowl of rice or tofu and enjoy it however you would like. Another great thing about purple cabbage is that it contains anthocyanins. This is actually the blue compound, the blue antioxidant, one that most people don't get very much of. And the first thing we really think about whenever we think about anthocyanins is blueberries. Obviously, it's in higher, con it's in high concentrations in blueberries. It's also in grapes, but those things usually aren't in season during the winter time. Purple cabbage is actually it's got blue pigmentation. So purple cabbage is an excellent source of anthocyanins during the winter time. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. If you want to have healthier joints, start eating more of that cabbage. And if you have a choice, pick purple cabbage. It's better for you. It has more antioxidants.